listening, reading, and critical thinking. In this lesson, we are going to listen about some animals, and we are going to read about a world of extremes. Some animals. A duck. A duck has a backbone and feathers. It eats plants. It can swim and fly. A shark. A shark has a backbone. It has a big mouth and sharp teeth, scales and fins. It hasn't got fur. It eats animals, fish and people. It can swim. An elephant. An elephant has a backbone. It hasn't got fur or feathers. It eats plants. It has a big nose. It's very big. A rabbit. A rabbit has a backbone, fur, sharp teeth, and a small mouth. It hasn't got scales or fins. It eats carrots. It can run fast. A world of extremes. Many animals have adapted to life in extreme heat and cold. Think of the extremes in Egypt. There are burning deserts and there are the high mountains of Sinai which are sometimes covered with snow. Now, think of the North Pole with its enormous glaciers and freezing water. Think of the rainforests of South America and Asia with their heavy rain. Incredibly, these environments are home to many types of wildlife. Egypt sand cats. One of the animals best adapted to heat in Egypt is Egypt sand cat. It's not much bigger than city cats, but it's designed for desert life, with thick fur on its feet to protect it from the heat. Sand cats are not often seen because they sleep underground during the day and only come out to hunt at night. Like many other desert animals, they do not have to find water, as they get all the moisture they need from their prey, which includes rats and mice. Polar bears At the other extreme, polar bears live on the ice around the North Pole. They are between 2.5 and 4.5 meters long and more than 450 kilometers kilograms in weight. Their white fur and thick skin protect them from the extreme cold. They live on fish which they catch through holes in the ice. They have an incredible sense of smell and can smell their prey as far as 16 kilometers away. They can run faster than 50 kilometers an hour. The orangutan. The rainforests of Borneo, where it's very hot and wet, are the home of the orangutan. Although their names mean wild man of the first they are quiet, rather lazy animals. They spend most of their lives high up in trees. They sleep all night in nests, which they make from branches. In the morning, they feed on fruits and insects, but then they rest before eating again in the evening. Strangely, they do not like water, so when it rains, they protect themselves by holding leaves over their heads. Language Notes <coughs> The difference between adapt and adopt. Adapt is, is to change because of some changes, different environment, and so on. But adopt is to 
be a patron or a sponsor of an idea or to take a child as your son. We live in a changing world and people must learn to adapt. We will have to adopt a more scientific approach in the future. They have no children of their own, but they're hoping to adopt. The difference between live on, live in, and live off can be understood easily through these examples. They have to live on what they can grow themselves. Polar bears live on the ice. He lives with four other people in a shared house. Ahmed lives off his elder brother and here it means that his elder brother gives him the money to live. The difference among pre, prey and bray. Pre, it's the animal which is hunted by wild animals. But prey is to appeal to God. As Muslims do, but bray is the sound of a donkey. A polar bear can smell their prey as far as 16 kilometers away. We pray for forgiveness from our sins. The donkey suddenly started praying. Compound nouns. Compound nouns are composed of two or three words. They can be written in three different ways. As one word, like wildlife, sandstorm, blackboard. As two words, like traffic jam, sand cat, bus driver. And as hyphenated words, motor racing, mother-in-law, up to date. Now, answer the following questions. What's the climate like at the North Pole? It's very cold and the ice never melts. How many different environments are mentioned in the passage and what are they? There are four. The deserts, the rainforests, the North Pole and the mountains. What's special about all the animals in the article? They have adapted to extreme environments. Why is it difficult for animals to live in the desert? It's too hot and nothing much grows there. How do you think these animals have adapted to their conditions? They have developed lifestyles to help with extreme conditions. For example, the sand cats live underground during the day and can live without water. Polar bears have thick skin and fur. Why do you think sand cats sleep underground during the day? Because it's too hot for them to be above ground. How do polar bears keep warm? Their thick skin and fur keeps them warm. How do polar bears catch their prey? They catch it through holes in the ice. Now, choose the correct answer. The line is a gentle kind, domestic, or wild animal. Fur, scales, fins, or feathers cover the fish's body. 
most animals adopt, save, adapt, or make to their environment. The thick fur, feathers, hands, or hair on polar bear's body keeps it warm. Egypt sand cats get drink, moisture, bread, or juice from their prey. Now, check your answers. An orangutan lives in the cloud, wind, storm, or rain forest. Mothers entertain, feed, amuse, or eat their babies with milk. Birds have got skin, feathers, scales, or fur on their butts. The orangutan sleeps in a nest made from feathers, branches, seal, or glass. Polar birds live on plants, animals, birds, or fish, which they catch through holes in the ice. Now, check your answers. Thanks for listening with Nafham. Learn easily and simply.